of three-year hiatus. The prestigious Federation of International Development Agencies Football Tournament returns, with seven teams vying for honors in eight major cups and medals titles. The tournament is a biennial event for developmental partners, though it was affected by the COVID-19 pandemic break, but the game returns and have steadily grown in prestige and coveted by participating development partners. FIDAF 2022 features games like football, basketball, table tennis, badminton, relay race, volleyball, chess, and scramble. Speaking at the flag of ceremony, the special guest of honor, former Super Eagles captain and coach, said the power of football unifies people and bringing people together provides an opportunity to speak to people to get to network and NGOs coming together to slog it out among themselves is commendable. Ultimately, uh, we all know what NGOs is for. Yeah, it's a non-governmental organization and uh, how to impact um, a whole lot of knowledge and impact people and lives positively also. So it's very, I think that's the most significant thing is to how to see how we can um, reach out to people and make um, life easier and better for people. Also, an ex-international footballer and Olympic gold medalist said the tournament is very close to his heart as he is a pioneer and lifelong ambassador of freedom and is always promoting it and making sure things work out. Very close to my heart because I was um, there from the beginning, even from the planning stage of this particular tournament. I was there from the beginning and I've been a lifelong ambassador of it and promoting it, you know, making sure things work out. I mean, at the end of the day, these are people, these are frontliners at the front line of, of developing and promoting humanity. So whatever it takes to support them, apart from the fact that this also this is also um, an important avenue for promoting health-related issues, wellness, you know, physical fitness and all that stuff. It's also a place for coordination and, you know, and coming together and connectivity. You understand what I'm saying? So, yes, I was there from inception. Still there. Will always be there. Do you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, it's my duty. I must bring my friends. That's why you saw Austin Eguavo here today. The last time you saw, you've seen, um, I think uh, the last time I brought um, Siasia, you know, I brought Garba Lawal. One by one, we'll keep coming to support and to promote what uh, FIDAF stands for because we're all very proud of this particular accomplishment and it can only get better. I know, see the way you say super falcons, they'll be making us proud because they're women, right? Yeah, listen, man, you know, our women, you know, unfortunately we downplay these things, but women has always been at the front line of every developmental indices around the world. Talking education, talking health, talking sport, talking politics, talking... Even back in the days when it used to be go to war and win, you know, the likes of uh, Queen Amina and the rest of them. So women has always been at the forefront of developmental indices all over the world. So it, it's no surprise what the Falcons are doing. And don't forget, Nigeria uh, um, is uh, probably, if not the first, among the very first countries in Africa that embrace female football. So we're way, 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 way ahead. In fact, it's not really been too rosy because things have not been done the way it should be. By now, the Super Falcons should be competing to win the World Cup, you know. What I'm saying, we saw what the what the, the young ladies, the flamingos, did in recent times. You understand? So we're very proud of them, and uh, it's not yet to Huru. So we're still there, working, calculating, and coming up with those um, calculative uh, with, with, with those things that will make them get better. So we're still there. They're gonna get better. We're very proud of them. Earlier, in our opening remarks, the organizer of the Federation of International Development Agencies for Bowl Tournaments said the tournament began in 2011 which is for employees of the international ngo sector to enable team bonding and work-life balance um because it's not just nigeria FIDA, but it's going to be west africa and even africa you know we work so hard and then we have little or no time to take care of our health so this tournament was put in place to encourage team bonding and an opportunity for us to exercise and then network. Um, we started with about 22 organizations and uh, because of COVID, we um, were not able to have this in the past three years. That's why you just um, have this um, number of seven participants in this year's um, tournament. 
we are actually looking forward to having FIDAF um, Africa, not just FIDAF Nigeria, because um, in the development sector, there is nothing like this. This is the first of its kind in the entire world. There is no tournament that is for the international NGO sector. So I really would like um, notable brands to support this idea, you know, so that it can grow, not just for um, FIDAF Nigeria alone. We can have FIDAF West Africa. We can have FIDAF Africa. It will be another avenue for um, tourism in Nigeria, where NGOs all over the world come to Nigeria for FIDAF tournament. It's eight days, eight days of fun, eight days of money for Nigerians as well as they come in to lodge in our hotels. You know, yes, so if we have brands like um, Techno, Pepsi, and other big names support this, it will grow. FIDAF is 11 years today. Please let's give a round of applause for the organizers of FIDAF. It's an opportunity to be part of uh, this round of applause for FIDAF, 11 years in no joke. And this is like a mobile thing. So this is what we use to, as we take care of all our patients, we check the BP, we check everything. It's connected with beauty. So all what we do is that immediately we are checking you, all your data is here and you're communicating with your doctor directly. We were delighted to be part of this this year. As a defending champion, we're back again. Just to let you know that we are here today and we are ready to go with this time around all the clubs. It's all about uh, sporting events in FCT Abuja. And of course, today's uh, event is all about sports and uh, we're going to have a beautiful moment with our athletes in FCT. Today's team is promoting employees' work-life balance. The tournament will feature basketball, football, volleyball, tennis and some other games. FIDAL is a non-profit oriented initiative intending to foster camaraderie among international development agencies and also to provide a forum for interaction both within themselves and with their clients, prospective clients and support organizations. Like me, it's so. Post by TV.